Welcome to your first look at Identity Player Housing. This here is an apartment in Ash Hill. Uh, it's still not quite complete. We have a little more work left to do on interface and such, but even as it is, it's the most complete player housing I've ever seen in an MMO. This inside is a two bedroom apartment, which means it can house two people, the owner and a friend. It starts off a little bit basic with uh, you know, low level trims on the walls and such, and uh, laminate flooring. All this can get upgraded. Almost everything is interactive, like this TV that we turned on, streaming YouTube videos. Oh my god, what the fuck All happened? right, do me a favor, call FSA Chevis or something, he's in the beginning of the list, and tell him that ASDFZ needs that help we were talking about, all right? Do and like that, uh, this radio streams live internet radio stations. Uh, I'm just turn this down a little so you can hear me. There we go, much better. Now, like I said, everything in here can be modified and upgraded. Almost every component, even the window trim, the window itself, your ceiling, all of the floors, uh, your furniture that's fixed, countertops, appliances, cabinets. Just about everything you can see can be swapped out. So, let's get started here. I'll show you how it works on walls. First, we choose a covering wallpaper, uh, let's go some simple paint, and we can choose what we want this paint to look like, any color there is, go with a little green, I'm not an interior decorator, I don't know what I'm doing here, and we choose a trim, now these trims all have to be acquired, you have to buy these out in the world, these are the few options I have, some crown molding, and we can apply just this wall, the whole room, or the entire apartment, there it is applied all the way throughout, Let's change the flooring here, get rid of this laminate. Uh, I, I like dark hardwoods myself, walnut. And that's throughout the whole apartment. Now the kitchen needs something a little different though, so we can change just that room alone. Put those tiles back in. There we go. And let's get rid of this popcorn ceiling. It's a little outdated. Paint that white. And put it all throughout. Now it's starting to look a little bit better already. It's time to put some furniture in here. Let's see, we have a sofa, leather sofa. I have mostly traditional kind of furniture selected here. It's the kind of thing I like, but there's all kinds of different styles available for you. Now, almost every one of these items are crafted and customized. That sofa that you see there, it could be made in leather, different colors of leather, fabric, all sorts of different ways, and it's up to the designer. And this is a, a bookshelf is sort of a special container, so it can hold items like other things, but really it only holds books. And what's cool is when you put books in there, they're actually visible right on there. And just now notice how this can't be placed anywhere except near that power receptacle. Now let's just uh, fill in a little more furniture. Dining area over here will make it look a little more complete. So we have dining tables. And that's going to need a chair too. Now, like I said, most of this is crafted and customized by people. So when you order something, if it's online and not in a store, you have to have it delivered to your house. That means a transportation corporation or someone with the right job will actually bring it to your address and deliver it right into your house. If you have the right vehicle, you can do it yourself. Now this this lighting, light attached to a certain socket, like this. There's a special item that can only go in a certain spot, and they'll change the look of the whole area. And uh, oh, now we can turn this on too, because it's connected to the wall. Ah. So if someone's delivering it, you can use your peephole to see who's there. And make sure that they're not someone that you uh, want to keep out of your apartment. Let's go down to this bedroom over here. Now it looks like this bedroom needs a bed. Let's toss one in here quickly. You can actually lie down on this bed too. There, that's much better. Now here's your closet. Your closet works as sort of a bank for your clothing. So you never really lose clothing once you bought it. It will always be available here if you want to come back to your home and change it out. 
Let's give this place a little bit more of a comfy bedroom look. Some Berber carpet, only in this room. And we'll change the walls to, let's say, some wallpaper and some different trim on top. And just this room. And there we go. This looks much better, a lot more comfy now. And like I said, almost everything's interactive. So when we use this canvas, we can actually paint on it. Now, I am not an artist. When you paint on these canvas, you can do all sorts of things with it. First of all, you can just keep it for yourself. You can hang it on your wall. You can add a frame to it. Or you could sell it. You could sell it on the market. And if you think you're really good, you can submit it to an art gallery. Anyone off the street can just walk in, see your art, and buy it right there out of the gallery. I am probably not quite good enough for that. As you can see right here with my art skills, I'll just uh, see, make a little man here. He's happy. And just need some arms, a little bit of, a little bit of hair. There we go. There, perfect. That's a masterpiece right there. So if I hold down my action key, I can choose to take it away. And now it's actually an item in my furniture inventory. Now, art like this too uh, can be reproduced. You can have prints done, but the original will always be shown as the original piece. So it's probably going to be a little bit more value for good. All right. Perfect. That is beautiful. Another important thing over here is your computer. And computers are quite a bit like the smartphone you have in game, but it can do a few more things. You can uh, watch live streams. You can play games that are made just for the in-game computer. There's a functional internet that is embedded right into the game. And if you are too poor for a computer of your own, you can always go to an internet cafe. And that covers the features as they stand right now for the apartment. We're always expanding on it, adding new things, adding more pieces of furniture to choose between, more customization options. The same level of detail, we're taking it further. Not only in apartments, but you'll see this kind of fidelity in weapons, vehicles, the policing system, prisons, everything under the sun. And if you want to get involved with identities development or just get into the game as soon as possible, visit our website listed here.